speech alternative to YouTube. Tonight, there's no doubt that certain forms of right-wing speech have been targeted with various forms of censorship over the last decade in the United States, in academia, in media, and online. But it is equally true that in the United States, one of the primary and most frequent targets of viewpoint-based firings, censorship, and other forms of sanction has been and still is critics of the state of Israel. One could spend all night, all night, documenting how many Americans have been fired or censored for criticizing this one foreign country and still not be close to comprehensively documenting all of them. Since October 7th, this long potent censorship framework has exploded. There are dozens of cases, at least, if not hundreds, of media figures, political officials, and academics who have been fired for saying the wrong thing about Israel. As we have repeatedly reported, laws in the United States have been enacted since October 7th to expand the legal definition of anti-Semitism to include a wide range of commonly expressed oppositional views to Israel. Fanatically pro-Israel governors have issued executive orders purporting to ban anti-Semitism, though no other form of bigotry in their state. And there have been countless attempts to punish students who sign on to or otherwise express opposition to Israel in a way that is deemed excessive, including efforts by many billionaires and corporations to blackball them from employment. The long list of Americans being fired for expressing views about Israel deemed over the line or even bigoted now has a new member. She is Brianna Joy Gray, my former colleague at The Intercept, who also was the press secretary for the 2020 Bernie Sanders campaign and, until yesterday, the ver very popular host of the morning news show produced by The Hill entitled Rising. After Brianna became a major target of indignation and even hatred on the part of pro-Israel activists over the last several weeks, the Hill yesterday sent her a summary email firing her with no explanation and no warning. We will speak to her in just a bit about what exactly happened and then examine its broader implications.